guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Faye, back with another hair tutorial, yes. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today I'm going to be installing a wig from Love Me Hair. This is their, let me, let me show you the wig, let me, oh, look how, look, look how good this looks, like, this is going to be an amazing video. So along with the hair, they also sent me a few things. So like I was saying, this is their 24 inch waterway wig and this is an undetectable lace wig. Um, I'm very excited because I just know that this is gonna be so amazing because I'm going to Costa Rica tomorrow and I am gonna take some bomb, bomb pictures in this hair. Like I already, like this is, this is a bit of me, this is a bit of me. I've already bleached and plucked the lace off camera but if you want a dedicated tutorial, you can click and watch one of my old videos. But if you want to see an updated bleaching and plucking tutorial, just let me know in the comment section below. I only plucked it a little bit to kind of get it to be more natural and then when I am installing the hair, I'll kind of go in with the tweezers a bit more to kind of get that, that melt, you know, that, you know, to get it melted. Yeah. As I said earlier, I already bleached and plucked the lace off camera and this is what it's looking like on the inside. There are three combs inside to kind of keep the hair secure as well as an elastic band in the back to also, you know, keep that hair on tight. Before I get started with installing the lace, I'm going to start with the bald cap. I actually rarely do the bald cap method because I don't really know how to do it. So we're gonna be doing it together because I've seen a lot of videos and I feel like I can do it, but I feel like that's what everyone says. Like watching it, you can kind of see, you know what, let's, let's just start. I really want the hair to last a long time or last like at least a full week in Costa Rica. So we have to start with a flawless, flawless base. I'm gonna take got to be to kind of spray around the area and then I'm gonna blow dry it to make sure that it is in place. I have seen videos and all these advice saying that the hair has to be complete, well not the hair, the wig cap has to be completely dry, I've got to be so that it's not really lifting. So we're gonna see if I got it to... Okay. I believe this is the closest I'm gonna get to a ball cap, but this looks amazing for like my first time. So I'm gonna give myself some props, you know? It's not bad. Oh, let me see if I wanna, I don't even know if I wanna put foundation because it's already matching pretty well. All right, now it's time to install the wig. Alright, now that the air tabs have been cut, it is in a perfect position for me to lay down my lace. Yeah. So I'm going to first go in with some alcohol to make sure that it has a really fresh, clean base. And then I'm going to go in with my Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive or Lace Glue. I have tried this only a few times, but it has worked. So I'm going to go in with about three or four, maybe four layers. And so it's going to be one section. I'm going to do it all on this side and then I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to go in with the other side to try and make sure that I'm not rushed to kind of do everything at once and to make sure it has like a really good, good hold. So.
I just realized I didn't put any foundation on the lace um, and I kind of wanted to match so I'm going to go in with my foundation and my foundation brush and kind of just go over it right now. So now that the glue is basically clear, I did four layers of the Erica J glue um, and so now I'm about to apply this right side and then I'm going to go in and do my left side. I really feel like I can already wear this hair without any baby hairs. Cause it looks so good. All right, so now I'm gonna attempt to do my baby hairs. I'm gonna use a very, very small flat iron. I saw this um, on a few videos online, no, actually. I think it was Eric Tay's method where he curls his baby hairs before he lays it down so it can get that like curl. Um, so I'm gonna attempt to do that today, okay.
is so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching my hair tutorial. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the hair right now. So once again, this is, I keep looking back and forth because I'm actually obsessed, but this hair is from Love Me Hair. This is their water wave wig, and this is 24 inches. I usually lean towards longer hair for curly hair, but this this 24 reaches reaches a pretty decent length, so it's not bad. It really isn't bad, um, but I love this hair. So I'm gonna wait till I get to Costa Rica to like wet it um, for some of my looks, but right now I wanted to rock it in its kind of natural state, so I went ahead and like fluffed out the curls, um, but once I put water on it, I know it's gonna snap right back. So I will insert some clips at the end of this video um, so you guys can see it in its different state. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. All the details for this wig will be in the description box below, so make sure to check that out because because y'all, this hair is everything. Like, I think we can all agree that this hair is everything. Like, this is just such a vibe. I don't really have much to say. And I love it, I really do. I think this might be my new go-to swoop. Like, I know this is a bit dramatic. It is a bit dramatic for a lot of people, but for me, like, I think it's just a bit of me. Like, this is just like, what I love. As I mentioned earlier, if you wanted to kind of go in the natural route without doing any baby hairs, you really could have because it looked just as good. So that's it.